Allez, on est reparti. On va voir l'oncle. Oncle. Oncle. On va voir l'oncle. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling <laughs> Abigail. I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse. I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? It's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house a lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> bon, bon, on arrache tout. We good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now, just pull. You got this, John? I'll go when you do. Okay. On hey, go. Good horses. Almost. Ah. 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 And now? Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? Uh, there's a fellow by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay. You keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's going to tell you that? Just need a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. <laughs> Ah, il, avait, il avait pas tort aussi, hein. c'était vraiment une maison de merde. Il faut une vraie maison. Allez, on retourne à, à Blackwater. Euh, moi aussi, je peux pas sauver quand je veux. Ça, ouais, ça, ça dépend en fait si on est en mission ou alors proche d'une mission, je crois. Des fois, la sauvegarde est verrouillée. Je sais toujours pas quoi faire de ma peau. 3 étoiles. On va la vendre, je pense. C'est qui ça Mais merde, pourquoi je suis descendu, bordel de merde Oh la vache Quel con Pas, je voulais pas descendre du tout en fait. Oh la vache, j'ai quasiment plus de vie. Ah, ah Mauvaise touche. Les frères Skinner, c'est le mec qu'on a, on a descendu. C'est les mecs qui étaient sur notre propriété. Si je dis pas de conneries. Eh ben, le temps
J'en connais une qui va vouloir une Switch encore plus qu'avant maintenant, par contre, avec, euh, avec Civilization. <rire> Alors, bonjour, je voudrais une maison. Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. I'm <laughs> joking, I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot I know is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost-efficient. Which house do you want? Oh, cool. Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee your home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. You write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there. It's like that existed, and pas ça. You'll be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert <laughs> Cakes, Esquire, at your service. You boys, give me a minute. <sighs> what are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. Left uncle armed to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. They're Skinner's about. We need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. Do you want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these Skinner's can be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devon, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're gonna be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fella up there. Yeah, so they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. Ah, yeah, sympathetic. I know the quickest way. Follow me. Say, is your friend a negro or a redskin? I think a bit of both, for what it's worth. <laughs> cash is cash, so it's all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry, we're not getting shot at. Oh yeah, I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? I suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable. Instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No, wait, look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrent. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. All right, I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon. But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think yep. you might be. People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. Hey, we're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. What was that you were saying? When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. 
That's, uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Tu parles beaucoup, par contre. Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellers up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Niels knows tools. And he knows me. So we'll see if we can get him to give you some. This is the spot. Just up ahead. Okay. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. Ok, on va parler à ce... À ce viking. Titan, triste fin. Eh oui. Eh oui. La triste fin d'Arthur. Like I said, Nils is a an acquired taste. Let me do the talking. Uh, there he is, working away. <laughs> Nils. Nils, it's me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any made? Uh, okay. <laughs> like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils. Okay. Bon, bah, apparemment, il vient avec nous. Ou alors, il nous donne que les outils. Milton is uh, working with cakes, hardwood, and timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's get moving. Bon bah c'était facile. OK. Euh. All right then. Beecher's Hope. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, hadn't they? Took a look at it myself as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. World needs men like you. And men like me. Oh, the flesh. Everyone find some cover. Oh, la vache. Qu'est-ce qu'on a? On a Bitfield, les semi-automatiques. Putain, de l'autre côté aussi. Le mec il l'attaque avec un sabre. Merde Pâche oh, oh On va se calmer Ah, j'ai perdu mon chapeau. That's the last of them? I think so. There's more. They got the tools. They got Mr. Wayne. All right, you stay here, guard the wagon. Charles, come on. Help. 
On charge, dépêche, il va me couper. Ah, oh, ok. Oh, ok. Je pensais que j'allais le. <rire> Je pensais que j'allais le, le mêler et lui mettre une balle, mais apparemment il m'a eu avant. Ok. Ouch. Ils sont, ils sont dangereux. Ils sont dangereux. Tiens mais une armée qu'ils ont <rire> Wayne Batman attends Ah euh. oh, vache il vient d'où lui J'espère qu'ils l'ont pas pendu ou un truc comme ça. Charles, j'ai trouvé les outils. Maintenant, où est Mr. Oh non. Jesus. Il était sympa ce mec. Que c'est une famille et tout. Come on. Let's go. Back to the road. Yeah, bro. God damn it. A few minutes ago he was chewing my ear off. He knew what he was getting into. Did he? Skinner? Everyone knows. <laughs> Except me! Later, John. Ah, J'espère que les autres ils sont pas tous morts. Là, vu qu'on les a laissés. Charles! You all right carrying them? I got it. Mr. Wayne didn't make it! Dear Lord, no. We have to get out of here. You take him in the back wagon. Come on! Help me! Alright, let's get out of here. Oh my lord. What'd they do to him? Nothing nice. Come on, we gotta go. Shit. Those goddamn animals. 
Okay. John, I'm riding with you. Okay. Get us back to beaches. Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the <laughs> land. The Skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought this... This kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No. Not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Then I hope we put an end to it. There was a caravan. A few months back, massacred. Men, women, children. Ended up like Wayne. Or worse. Damn. Uh, well. <clears throat> Fun. Uncle! Gay. Uncle! Ah, il a encore envie, lui? Oh, tant mieux. Uncle! I was, uh, you useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner Brothers. Bottom? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devon back to town and get poor Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Oh, I will. But I'm fairly sure we've scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. If you say so. Ah, uh, civilization 6. Gathering Storm, sa seconde extension du jeu. And John, okay. I love you. Don't you forget that. Un stream de 24 heures pour une extension de jeu. Oh putain, c'est tu. de la banque et tout ça. Ouais, oh, c'est bien. Morning. Morning. On peut fabrique quoi 14 février. OK. d'Arthur, c'est la classe. Le couteau en argent. Ça veut pas Charles Non C'est très bon pourtant. Un peu de café, on va faire un peu de café. <rire> on prend notre petite pause. Dormir, s'asseoir... On peut changer de vêtements. Oups. We're getting this done, aren't we? Yep. Mr. Smith! près du feu
Non, on peut pas changer de vêtements. On n'a pas de garde-robe. C'est bizarre. Voyage rapide ici. Ok, c'est sympa. Bouteille de bière. Alors peut-être qu'on nous le dit pas, hein, là peut-être Changer de vêtement, ok. okay. C'est pas écrit sur la, la carte en fait. Le cowboy Le, le rancher. Joli. Manteau western. Je regarde vite fait un peu ce qu'on a. Ah oh. Enlève ta main Enlève ta main, putain. On peut prendre la sacoche d'Arthur. Sacoche pour fortifiant. On augmente la capacité de transporter les tubes de fortifiant. Ah, bah c'était la celle améliorée en fait. Ah <rire> Ok, euh, alors, on a, on a pas mal de... Pas mal de changements à faire. Allez, alors, le cowboy, on va faire un peu des changements au cowboy en fait, vite fait, pas, pas très long mais on va le faire. Alors, sacoche fortifiant. Équipement pour armes, il nous faut un austère, un deuxième austère. Austère de John. Austère principaux, on a quoi Cavalier, John. Voilà, comme ça, on a les mêmes. Enfin, je crois, j'arrive pas à voir, je sais pas. La ceinture, on a ceinture de John, on a Auster amélioré, niveau partie Arthur, celle d'Arthur aussi. Alors, au final ça va, c'est tout bien. On va juste euh, mettre euh, accessoire du coup. Non. Euh, moi je voulais la bretelle de munitions, on n'a pas la bretelle, comment ça s'appelle Voir oh, c'est dans bretelle Non. Cartouchière. Ah, c'est pas mal ça, pas mal, pas mal, pas mal, pas mal. Ah, j'aime pas les gants. On essaye de se faire une tenue un peu, un peu, un peu spéciale, on va dire. Gants. Gants de tireur. Ah, C'était les gants de... Ouais, on verra. Pas une chemise avec les, les manches longues.
Ça a un petit côté Dutch comme ça. Je sais pas si c'est une bonne chose. Ah, sont jolis ça. Là, on va l'enregistrer. Tenue. Ellie pour 15 mois. Merci beaucoup avec Twitch Prime. You're okay, Kinna. Merci, merci. <rire> euh, si, tu, si tu apprécies la tenue, ça me va. Merci beaucoup, ma chère, ma très chère. Ah, on est bien. 15 mois. Il va falloir que je fasse une, un badge pour, pour les deux ans, je pense. Juste pour Ellie. Hello. Hello. Hi Charles. Allez, on y va. Oh, c'est juste là. Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> But I'll tell you what I think, just to be safe. I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Why you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago unless you want to dig a six foot deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? He'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. <laughs> She get on with this. Où est-ce qu'on va Il hey, y a un oiseau Simulation de construction de maison, c'est bien ça. l'oiseau
Oh putain. Allez On a toujours la cartouchière. <rire> Et le chapeau. Je sais pas si t'es censé clouer les... Think that's des tuiles. John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. <rire> And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <rire> Gentlemen, to this happy home. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <rire> Ah, il va écrire à Abigail. My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you, and that is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. Elle grande la maison quand même, hein, putain. Oh, on s'est fait une tenue exprès, <rire> c'est chier. Euh... Ah, on va peut-être pouvoir l'augmenter, je sais pas, mettre de l'argent. Uncle, I thought you was. Where the hell? La nouvelle Jérusalem. Où est-ce qu'il est cet idiot ah, On peut y aller à pied.
Just one time I hope to find you working. Just <laughs> once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin'. So that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming, ranching, planting something. Well, the only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so, so cows, sheep, goats. You know, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're going to need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. I have on cash, too. I can't move like I used to. Then I never was that fast. C'est marrant la différence avec euh, avec le monde In moderne, le monde d'avant. On fait que acheter sur des prêts. Now this fella probably saw you. So here's some corn husk idiot. Some country rube doesn't know a pre-cut home from an outhouse. And I'm going to rob him blind. <laughs> Uh, I gotta respect him for it. Cause if I saw you walk into my lumber yard, I'd think exactly the same thing. Thinking about it? Huh. I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let you get robbed again? <laughs> oh, no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Uh, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah! <laughs> You're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. I ain't young like you. Hold on. We gonna stay together now? You was about to say? Ah, you ain't even got furniture. This is him. Ah oui, oui c'est le celui qui nous a vendu la maison. And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily. Oh, I'm sorry. I've, uh, um, how are you? We need a barn. A barn. Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many scarface loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Uh, that We're one. an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, it's my wife, Jerry. You see, she's uh, but it, it's great seeing you again. I hope. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been sir. a pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. How are we gonna pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been aye, a aye. good customer, and I like you, and David Geddes likes now, you. I, I, but this man <laughs> is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Hey. Oh! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey. John! How are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I, you got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing. And I, you up for a fight? Is it legal? <laughs> well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. 
Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. Okay. All right, the Painted Sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long it'll stay that way. An encyclopedia salesman was up there on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but Ew. saw a Mexican looking fella hanging around. Oops. Oh, ah bah ouais, mais bouge tes fesses. Ouh, j'ai cassé un peu les choses. Now, Ramon Cortez is round those parts. Split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him. Hold up, waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. Whoa! Come on, whoa! Sadie. Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Del Lobos? Yeah. You head back down to where we was, New Austin? You're bound to run into them. Oh, I ran into them. Mostly Mexicans? Some of them. But some is Californios. And some are regular Americans, too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly. Real friendly. Oh, yeah. Ugh, it's a bad situation down there. Burnings, killings, you name it. I know something of that. And not much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild country. Yeah, I met him. Don't you get around. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice? Weren't what I heard about them. Got hold of this fella I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm yeah. sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, all the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> It's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up, and Uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. It's solid, though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Marston's got his own house. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie, despite all that. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. You know, it sends the wrong message. Oh, that's what I am now. An employee. Mm-hmm. That's what the bank says. Oh, well then I guess our fraternizing days are done. Now, be a good boy and get this bounty for me. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> sont plutôt cool, les deux. J'aime bien leur... Hein. This is Painted Sky up here. Looks no, quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. Ok, c'est l'heure de sortir les armes. Je sais pas quoi prendre, honnêtement. Ah, wow, wow, wow. Je sais plus ce qu'il fait, Litchfield. Ce truc à répétition. Précision recharge, cadence de tir. Un caster, il tire plus vite. Euh, non, c'est pas celui-là. Je suis perdu dans les armes. Enfin, je sais pas trop ce que je veux récupérer. Ce que je veux utiliser. Voilà, on va utiliser le bon vieux fusil à pompe.
Let's get down and take a look. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. Holler if you get him. Ah, forcer la serrure. Je vois pas de serrure, mais c'est pas grave. Oh la vache. Je l'ai trouvé. You got him? I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. Yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. Wow. Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going to Rhodes. Rhodes? It's different there now. That hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Dewberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. Better than any bounty. Oh, shut up. On retourne à Rhodes, je me rappelle plus. C'était comment Rhodes On va voir. Sans plus. Hey, little fella. Oh. Attends, attends. Ok. Ok, Missy. You're real helpful, thank you. Il y a Civilisation 6 qui a moins 70% sur Steam maintenant. Oh, ça tue. Come on. I'll give you 100 dollars to kill that bitch. 200. 300. 300. Mr. Sheriff. Pour Mr. fêter Sheriff, la une nouvelle extension. Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. Hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay. Okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard him till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Sure. Uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> Van Horn, c'est pas avec, euh, c'est pas la ville toute dé défoncée là, avec le phare. Qu'est-ce qui se passe On se fait attaquer Ah ah. Sheriff Thomas, Sheriff Thomas, we want our friend back. You have about 
Ten seconds, Sheriff Thomas, before we kill all of you fools. Oh. One. Don't be a dumb bastard. Two. This is a good town now. Three. Let them have it, boys. They're loafers. Oh. Oh. They're turning tail. Come on, let's run these cowards out of town. Got a vash. Ah, c'est ça dit, hein. C'est quoi ça Ah, ils ont dû faire un trou. Ouais, ils ont dû faire un trou. Ils ont Now, pay us what's owed. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as Rob, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another $50 besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. Ah, ça dit, elle a eu un. Comment dire Elle a un passé assez. Euh, assez dur. Donc maintenant. Hein... pas super fan des, des pistolets, je suis vraiment pas super fan des pistolets. On va peut-être leur mettre des balles, euh, pff, je sais pas, portée, précision, peut-être des balles avec plus de précision en fait. Désolé, je vais juste regarder les armes deux secondes. On va revenir au revolver en fait. Ils sont plus précis. pas les mêmes revolvers, hein, on est d'accord. Qu'est-ce qui... Qu qui qui gueule comme ça Caloé. Scofield. Ah... Ah, là, c'est les mêmes. Faudrait que ça, ça dise les marques, en fait. Mais bon, faut juste regarder les... Ouais, c'est des cattlemen. Oh là là De toute façon, c'est du pareil au même, on est d'accord. On va juste prendre... Il ressemble à quoi, lui 
Ah oui, il est tout décoloré comme ça. C'est moche. C'est super moche. Celui-là aussi, il est moche. Celui-là de John, est très très moche. On a un... Il y a que celui-là... Il y a que le flaco, franchement, qui est joli. Il y a vraiment que le flaco. Allez, on va rester comme ça, sinon ça va me saouler. <coughs> Allez, désolé, on y va. Allez, go. Où est-ce qu'on va trouver Il a dit qu'il y avait des hommes qui se trouvaient à Dewberry Creek. On va commencer par regarder là. Sure. You've had some bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. He got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah. Yes, we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring roads into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah, he'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez? We're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. It's an odd thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself, to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting What? to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an <coughs> odd thing. How we'd take money from one, but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No, I don't know, usually. If I got into who deserved what, second guess every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, You got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. Faut, faut pas lui dire qu'on est recherché vers Saint-Denis. Hein. Down there. Oh. Fire. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. Faut pas lui dire parce qu'on a 20 dollars sur notre tête, elle, elle risque de nous. <rire> elle risque de nous livrer nous aussi. Les mecs, ils nous voient là d'ici. They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them. Perhaps. So, what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You. Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you. I, I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I, they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? You just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. And shoot well. Donnez-moi une seconde.
problème avec l'affichage. Désolé. Hmm. <coughs> Petit problème avec l'affichage qui vient de sauter sur un écran et ça, ça fout la merde. Désolé. Donnez-moi deux minutes. Voilà. Ok, désolé, désolé. désolé. Ah 